really excited to be here because I've campaigned quite a lot on climate change and it's a fantastic opportunity to talk to people from across Europe. I think the way we had the discussions here has been fantastic. We started yesterday with a group of people who'd never met and we were just asked what we thought and there was no assumption that you were a great expert, that you'd maybe thought the same things as other people, but we quickly understood that we had the same shared objective which was basically to have transformational change to save the planet. So I think the first thing for building trust is, is bringing people together and helping them understand that even though their journeys may be very different, they want to get to the same place. And then encouraging people to just be honest about how much they know or how much they think they don't know. Most people know a lot more than they think they do. Encouraging people to be open in discussion, to let other people speak, to really listen. I think listening is really important in building trust and it's one thing that politicians are really bad at and it's one thing that movements are generally better at. And then I think it's about letting go a little bit. So now we've got this process today when a group of people are going to take forward the discussions we had this morning and they're going to write something kind of on behalf of all of us. And I completely trust that they might not write every word exactly like I would write it and they might not write every sentence I would write and they might have ideas I've not had, but I trust that they want to do the same thing. And you get there by just letting people have time together, letting them have lunch together, have coffee together, making it informal, allowing people to express their personal experiences because no one's ever wrong with that. You know, if you tell me about your experiences and why you believe something, then you're right. And in a way, that kind of levels people, and then I think that builds trust as well. And that's why I think what we're doing here has been really brilliant. I think it's much easier to build solidarity with a purpose. You know, I think it can be a very abstract concept. Like, I feel solidarity with refugees and migrants. Well, what does that mean? A shared common vision is really important. And it's a sense of purpose. It's what do you want to change? I mean, it's not just what's wrong, because, you know, lots of campaigns start because people have a really good idea of what is wrong. It's actually a lot harder fig to figure out what might be right. Deciding together what might be right and broadly agreeing together how you might get to what is right um, with a sense shared of purpose, I, I think that is really critical. Otherwise, it can all feel a bit far out there and just a bit abstract.